TMG fam, it's your boy L. I'm back with another reaction video, man. How y'all feel? Welcome back to the channel. Listen, we back with another. Gotta make them wait for it. Gotta make them wait for it. I break rock bottoms off that strike. Let's go, man. Listen, we back with Babe Ruth versus Lance Armstrong. You hear me? Babe Ruth versus Lance Armstrong is right here about to go down. Now, before we get into the actual battle, before the savagery takes place, please, if you're new to the channel, take the time to go ahead and hit that subscribe button, man. Hit the subscribe button and uh, join the fam, all right? You see the social media links over here in the corner, man. Give your boy a follow. And with that being said, I bet rock bottles up his strap. Let's go. This ruthless aggression I'll let you be the second fat woman here in my confession I admit it, I did what I had to do to win I'm an athlete, you're a specimen of sin With your drinking and smoke <laughs> Hey, he said now, now normally in a battle that's what you're supposed to do You're supposed to get everything your opponent gonna say to you out the way So he said, I admit it, I did what I needed to do to win You know what I'm saying, I know you're gonna address that But let me get it out the way first So it takes less, takes the sting out of it When you come with what you're gonna say Classic battle rap 101 moves right there. Did it. I did what I had to do to win. I'm an athlete. You're a specimen of sin. With your drinking and smoking and choking down food. I know French do with better manners than you. So swing batter batter. Show me what a fatter rapper can do. I beat cancer. I can sure as hell crack you. Live strong. Beat cancer. Congratulations. That will drop your ass faster than your own foundation. <laughs> he like, oh, hold on, hold on. Didn't Babe Ruth die of cancer or something like that? So he's like, oh, you beat cancer. Congratulations. Like, oh, you trying to take that type of shot at me? Okay. You about to catch this. Let's see what Babe Ruth going to talk about, bro. Hold up. You're out faster than your own foundation. Third base with an Austin twin. That's the sensation. She's just a little girl. Would you give her a bracelet? Oh, nature knows you ride too tight. Y'all remember them famous for them, them braces? Actually, he, he popped his hand at, at the beginning of the battle. That Lance Armstrong had those braces. I forget the slogan that he had or whatever it was back then. But uh, he said, she's the little girl. What did you do? Give her a bracelet? Foul. That's the sensation. She's just a little girl. Would you give her a bracelet? Oh, nature knows you ride too tight in the crotch. You're as boring as your tour de France to watch. So come on, little buddy. Don't look so pissed with all that blood and attitude. <laughs> Yo, the blood and attitude with you, a menstrual cyclist. Ah, listen, that was a haymaker for me. Babe Ruth is currently leading right now. Lance better step it up, bro. He gotta step it up. Body don't look so pissed with all that blood and attitude. You're like a menstrual cyclist. You set records before black men can compete. Are you kidding me? That's like having a pasta contest without Italy. You're an orphan who found his way to fortune and fame. Just think what you could have done if you would have actually trained. On the pinnacle of physical condition, while you dip your stick in prostitutes and call it bobble tippet. Oh, the me oh, he had to hit him with the prostitute line. <laughs> On the pinnacle of physical condition While you dip your stick in prostitutes and call it bobble tippet Are you tripping? You'll be nothing but a skeleton Messing with the fellow in yellow who will be pedaling like hell up in the peloton Where's the part of my life against the toxin and a bathing so filled with more artificial ingredients than a baby root that may be way too soon But I'll call my shot I'm not talking about those Italian syringes you brought The salt in the swamp will knock you <laughs> He going next level he going next level. Right out of the park and round the base into the sound of uproaring applause while you hang your head in shame and disgrace because you got lost and forgot what real sports what you was. You look tired. Whoa. Bow, 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 bow. You got lost and forgot what, we're, what real sportsmanship was? That scandal, man. Ah, oh, he hit him with the skin. Ah, oh, that might have... I think it's over for Lance, y'all. I think we're going to have to... Uh, <laughs> it's over for Lance, man. After that that shot, that line right there, that line hit hard. It hit, he hit it out of the park, like he said. Out of the park. And shame and disgrace because you got lost and forgot what real sports was. You look tired, kid. 
kid, you got Cheryl Crow's feet eyes. Head on to France and maybe bring me back some fries. Now just to step to wolf in the mic, I'll fan your fancy bite, you know. You're out for three strikes, just one ball. Oh, one! Oh, We gotta watch the behind the scenes. This is up next. You know the chef gotta hit you with a two piece. But uh, on, hey, he knocked, he knocked that out the out the park, ah, out the park. He knocked that out the park, bro. Babe Ruth actually killed that for me, hands down, no debate. Babe Ruth killed that battle, man. Oh my gosh, he, yeah, that that last round, that last round he gave us. He, he he went insane in that round. So let's check out the behind the scenes, man, of Babe Ruth and Lance Armstrong. It went down. Check out my balls in this outfit. Oh, Bart Rock Bottles are the Babe Ruth! Watch it! Lance Armstrong! Bring it! My name's Babe Ruth now, and uh, I don't know, I just I like to play baseball. <laughs> Look at this guy, he's all skinny. His bike doesn't even work. He looks like some kind of a ninny. Lance Armstrong's such a, got such an intense face. He's not angry, he's almost, he's above anger. Conquer anger. You get anger, my bitch. He's almost like Rick from The Walking Dead. <laughs> just a little bit. We are an hour, I don't know. Ten. <laughs> Ten. I like your ear. I like your ears. At this point in the writing process, we have we don't have anything. It's sort of a game of like Tetris, like trying to find where one joke goes in comparison to another joke, then what Pete is saying and how we respond to one another, what joke goes where and how everything builds. So we try to make it now from a collection of jokes to a cohesive message on both sides. That's crazy because the final product when we get it is like two to three minutes long. But look at the hours of just preparation in the verses, bro. The preparation that goes or, or the, the work that goes into crafting these hilarious, these comedic verses that we get. And it, it, it gets everything gets shrunk down because they put they were in hour 10, not even done yet. But they were at that point in time in hour 10. So you got to tip you continue to tip your hats off and appreciate these guys and all the work they put in, man. What are you guys playing? Kirby's Adventureland, Wonderland. Avalanche, you mean? Avalanche. We got nothing, dude. I'll step you next. Check it out. We got a helicopter. It's got a camera on it. Oh my god, cool. We haven't been able to make it work at all yet, but. You haven't been able to fly it? I flew it for like two feet today. I was trying to use it to get footage with. I thought it would be a funny angle. Let's get in the pants. What? Whoa. Are you going to McDonald's after this dance? Give me a jello. Give me a jello. I don't. Why does he have to stuff his crotch? He's not his crotch. It's his. <laughs> it's like lower, lower, gut. lower gut. It's such a dickhead color, isn't it? Not like the color. You know what I mean? <laughs> I just see Lance Armstrong doing such a like. Hey, that's what I was doing in the vocal booth to get try and find his characters. Come here. Got something to say to you. What? The taroey suit's all velcro in the back. Yeah. Did you did you look up a recipe for this? No, I just figured it out. You do the top and then you do the pants. Can I try it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think maybe I'd just be like. Such a great visual. Once we get about turned into a stripper. Yeah, well no, you'll be great. Got it. See, we gotta start tipping our hats into the strippers, man. We don't realize how tough that job is. Coming out them clothes as gracefully as they do. You gotta be graceful in how you do this. Get it smoke, get it choking down cold. I know French dudes with better. That's great. Woo! We just gotta scrap that. That's great. Live strong, beat. <laughs> you know what drug uh, Lance Armstrong never tested positive for? Heroin. Yo, man, they, they actually was 
savages in that battle. Especially Babe Ruth with the savagery, man. That's who I give it to. So y'all get at me in the comment section. Let me know who y'all thought won. Y'all see my answer. And uh, I want to see yours. So drop them down there in the comment section. Make sure you leave your boy a like. Let's get the likes all the way up. Several thousand likes. Let's get them up there. We can do it, fam. And uh, stick around and stay tuned, man. It's your boy L to the next reaction video. I'm out. Peace. Y'all stay solid. A. What we do here is go back, 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 back.